So about six months ago, I talk about this girl Michaela and how her private videos were leaked. I also talk about how she had a fan fix, which is basically a minor's precursor to joining OnlyFans. If someone is telling you to subscribe to their fan fix, don't and just wait for them to turn 18 and make an OnlyFans. But I mentioned how the pics she was posting on her fanfics were no different than the videos that were leaked other than the fact that she was naked. I even drew out what her pictures looked like just to show you guys what she was posting without actually breaking the rules and posting her content. But you can see she was 16 posting things like, might be pulling my tongue out for you, I'm in bed tonight so you can let your imagination run wild, you have 15 minutes to get somewhere private before I blow your mind. Those are three reasons why people were trying to hack her. Obviously, if you're okay with posting this kind of stuff for everyone to see, then you more than likely have pictures that you want no one to see. It doesn't take a genius to see that this wasn't some Patreon made for her to interact with her fans. It was a forerunner for what was to come. But before I can make any follow-up video on this, my video got taken down and got me a strike on my channel because of child safety. When all I did was let you guys know how this was something a child shouldn't join, but they rejected my appeal and I got banned for a week. And I was mad when this happened because the video got like 15k views in a week, basically what I wished all my videos would do. And I was even able to post three videos before they're like, you look a little too happy there and just shut it down. And actually they took two videos down in the same day, the second one almost getting 20k. But Michaela, being 16 at the time, got off social media and basically left as fast as her videos were spreading. But all this time goes by and people are saying that she died and basically the usual things people say when their favorite influencer stops posting. But fast forward to this past Tuesday and her sister posted a video saying that this is her new account and you should go follow it because she's making a comeback. And I'm like, oh really? So I do follow it because she says she's going to talk about what happened in a future video and she got me suspended for a week. So I wanted to know, I wanted an explanation. There were crimes committed on both sides here. Obviously one outweighing the other in this situation, but I wanted answers. And today she finally posted an explanation video. And of course I'm here to b -b 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 break it down. <laughs> Make sure to not use the uh, coleslaw video. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. I was hacked on my Snapchat. It is currently in legal hands right now and I can't say any more about that. And before you guys come at me for saying it's illegal to send, I have talked to the cops. They told me personally it is not illegal to send even if you're under age, if it is consensual and not shared beyond any other parties. Now right here is the first red flag because you can Google is it legal for minors to send each other explicit photos and the first thing that pops up is an article from January of last year saying all states have laws prohibiting minors from sending or receiving sexual images of a minor. I even looked up the laws in Canada where she supposedly lives and it even says even if both parties are under the age of 18, sexting is illegal. Those under 18 who engage in sexting could be found guilty of CP related offenses. Obviously, the keyword there being could, and the police obviously care more about who hacked her Snapchat rather than prosecuting the girl just adding insult to injury. But don't just take her word for it, because minors shouldn't and aren't allowed to be sending each other videos you can find on Pornhub, alright? And just some other stuff about the law. I've seen comments of people saying, oh I've seen it, but it's okay because I'm her age. No! This was an invasion of my privacy, a huge invasion of my privacy. So, it's still illegal for you guys, sorry. Yeah, sorry, but for you guys, that was illegal. For me, what I was doing, <laughs> yeah, that was not illegal. Me telling you I'm alone in bed while I'm 16, making you pay $11 a month to see me in my underwear? Yeah, for you guys, that's fucking illegal. For me, it's called business. Everyone knows it was illegal. Believe it or not, that's one of the reasons it spread faster. But for the rest of her video, she talks about how she can't wait to post again and how she misses going live. She kind of contradicts herself also, saying that everyone was being mean to her, but then when everything happened, she got more love than hate. She also mentions how she saw the memes, I guess the ones about her dad seeing the videos, and this is what she has to say about that. And I've seen the memes, by the way. No, my dad has not seen it. We shielded him completely. You had an OnlyFans Junior account that you wouldn't have stopped posting on had you not got hacked. 
All of a sudden, now you're worried about what he thinks? She's lucky there was like one comment like this asking her about her fanfics because if this wasn't a thing, she wouldn't have been hacked. The only reason this happened is because people wanted to see more of what you were teasing them with. 99% of the time, when a girl gets hacked for her private pictures, it's because they let the wrong person know, which gets the dirtbags who find out wanting more, knowing that there's more. So they resort to hacking because all you're doing is telling them that you're alone in bed, but not showing them that you're naked alone in bed, you feel me? You don't dangle meat in front of a wild animal and then snatch it away like they never saw it. Yes, it sucks m fucking monkey nuts that you got your pictures leaked, and I don't wish that on anyone, but you shouldn't be a minor sending your asshole to your boyfriend or whoever. Thank you. See you guys Monday. Also, this is wild. Look, I'm not even done editing. This guy comments, Michaela is back with an explanation video if you didn't hear two minutes ago. I'm, I'm, is it a fucking psychic or what?